travelers of the internet. I'm Brianna. Welcome back to Bree's Books and to celebrate the final release of the theatrical live action Beauty and the Beast, I thought I would show you guys my Beauty and the Beast collection. I got inspired for this video by Super Space Chicks video, which I will leave down below. I have a lot of other Disney stuff, but I'm only going to show you the stuff in this video that's specifically just Beauty and the Beast. So, that to say, let's get started. Firstly, my background here is a wonderful um, Beauty and the Beast dress that I got from Hot Topic. Um, it's just a black like tank top on the top part and then the bottom of the skirt is the wonderful stained glass. You can see that it's pretty amazing. Back up. I also got this Be Our Guest pillow from Dis last time I was at Disneyland like two or three years ago and I love it so much it sits on my couch. I also have a Cinderella one but this is my Beauty and the Beast one and on the back it says Tale as Old as Time and it's one of my very favoritest home decor items. Next I was just going to show a few like drawings and stuff I got of Belle. This is one that my coworker made for me on my last birthday, which I love so much. And some of you may have seen some of these things because if you've seen any of my other videos, I've shown them before. I got this um, custom made picture from my Secret Santa last Christmas. That was a fun surprise. And then this is supposedly me as Belle. Um, my old work we did like uh, we had an artist do characters of us as our favorite characters so I did myself as I got myself done as Belle so that's apparently what I look like as a Disney character so what do you think does it look like me I don't know I just like it because somebody actually went to the trouble to do this for me so I keep it and then I have these fake roses which of course everything I get that's roses is automatically um, a Beauty and the Beast rose, obviously. So I have these um, just like felt paper roses. I don't know what you call them. They're like just cheap fabric roses, whatever, um, that I got from my bridal shower because my bridal shower was Disney themed, so it's amazing. These two glass roses. I wore these in my hair today to work to celebrate the Beauty and the Beast release as well. And I have this rose ring as well that I found at a yard sale like last year or two years ago. I don't know if you can really see that. Probably can't, but yeah, it's a rose ring and I love it so much. I'm not a big fan of wearing rings on my finger though, except for my wedding ring. So I usually just wear rings on the chain on my neck. And then I have this little... Um, like plastic enchanted rose. And I also have this handcrafted enchanted rose that my husband made for me for last Christmas. It's so beautiful. You've probably seen this already if you've seen my Disney Christmas haul video or whatever it was. But it's amazing and I love it so much. He worked so hard to make it for me. And then I have this Beauty and the Beast stained glass cup that I keep all my bookmarks in. I don't have any Beauty and the Beast like, or Disney bookmarks, which is kind of weird, but I do have this cup for my bookmarks, which is Beauty and the Beast. And then I have this Beauty and the Beast stained glass hand mirror I got in my stocking, I believe, one year. Super cute. And then I have the um, Diamond Edition of Beauty and the Beast. I also think I have the VHS still, and I also have the Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas, but those were both like packed away in boxes in the basement, which I did not want to look for, so I definitely have this one. And then I have a couple books. I have um, Disney's The Beast Within, A Tale of Beauty's Prince by Miss Valentino. I have Serafina, is her name? Or Serena. By Serena Valentino. I also have this um, story, like children's storybook of Beauty and the Beast. Um, written in Italian because my parents got it for me from when they were in Italy because they knew how much I would be going to be so That was a really fun surprise. I have a couple of 
puzzles. I have this um, 750 piece Thomas Kincaid one. I haven't done it yet. I have like the whole collection of these almost. Um, so I have a lot to do and I don't find time to do puzzles nearly as much as I used to or that or um, as much as I would like. Okay, so my camera just cut off randomly. So sorry if the lighting and angle and everything is weird now, but the other thing, the other puzzle I have is the like original movie these uh, 300 piece movie poster puzzle. They used to do these for all of like the Disney animated films and it's amazing. I think I found this like at a yard sale and it was unopened and it just made my day. This is like my favorite move Disney movie or movie in general and I love these puzzles. I have also like Cinderella and Little Mermaid and 101 Dalmatians of this and I just have such fond memories of doing these puzzles when I was a kid and I love it so much. I love movie posters and so I love even more doing a puzzle of a movie poster. It is beautiful and I have no idea why her dress is a different color on the original poster but I don't know. Weird movie trivia thing. Somebody needs to find out. So that's it for the puzzles. Then I have just like a few like figures and stuff to show. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show is my Beauty and the Beast snow globe. It doesn't play music or anything, but I got it at the um, touring production of Beauty and the Beast when it came um, near my area. And so it's really cute and it has a little glitter and stuff and it has roses all around it. It doesn't play music, but it's like really like good heft and quality to it. And so I really like it. And I got it on sale when they were touring, so just a good memory and a good beautiful trinket to have. And then I got this Abel keychain that my sister got me when she went to Disneyland last, um, several, several years ago. And it's beautiful. I don't put on my keys because I don't want her to get mucked up, so I just put it on my um, Disney DVD shelf so that she can just be pretty sitting up there by my Disney DVDs. And next is my um, Beauty and the Beast Funko and Dorbs. There's like a whole much more um, that I want to get that I don't have yet, but these are the ones I have so far. So for the Funko Pops, all I have is the Peasant Bell so far right now. I do also want to get like um, the Beast with the birds and a couple more of the Bell ones. I don't really care about the new live action version Pops, but I do want some of the like original animated ones to add to my collection. I think that would be really fun. But she's the only one I have so far because she's the one I wanted the most. She's my favorite. So for Funko Dorbs, I have both uh, the Peasant Bell and the Ball Gown Bell um, for the Dorbs. And they're super cute. And the detailing on these is really beautiful for being made out of like plastic vinyl and whatever. Um, and these... Um, sometimes they're cheaper than the pops, so I, that's why I started collecting these as well, just cause, so I could have options. And then I do also have the Dorb's Beast in his ball, yeah, uh, ball dancing outfit, looking all swinkified. And the, is the only thing that's a bummer though on this one, I got a defective one and he was the last one. Um, his hair is kind of falling out in the back. I didn't realize it till I opened him out of the box, but... He's a little sad looking back there, but he's still cute on the front. And so I am happy to have him in my collection, even though he is a little a little rough and stuff on the top and the back there a little bit. But he's super cute. And at least my bell dorbs are not um, unaccompanied, even if my um, pop bell is for the moment. Okay, guys. Well, that was my complete Beating the Beast collection. I might have forgotten a few things, but that was everything I could think of or find. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go watch the movie and tell me what you think. Don't tell me any spoilers, though, because I haven't seen it yet. Probably won't be able to see it for a few days, but I'm really excited, and I hope you are, too, and I hope you love Beating the Beast as much as I do. Have a great day. Bye!